People don't realize how big of an impact waste, especially plastic, has on our oceans. It's an inspiring day here on South Padre Island. The Dallas Zoo's Wild Earth Action Team has 50 volunteers here cleaning up the beaches and restoring habitat for critically endangered sea turtles. 90% of all dead sea turtles that wash up on beaches, their stomachs are filled with small plastics. It's around us everywhere, so it's something we've got to declare war on for wildlife. We've picked up all kinds of bottle caps and cigarettes and plastic utensils and quite a haul. and the turtles that are in here are in here because they got sick or injured in the ocean, either entangled in ropes, onion sacks, things like that, or sometimes um, they also are eating plastic. It's really important that people join together and clean up the beaches, keep our environment clean. We want to conserve species of sea turtles and rehabilitate them. And prevention is, is part of that mission, just getting that trash out of the environment because essentially this is what is making them endangered. We know from years of research that baby turtles will eat anything. When the babies are ready, they will emerge from the top of their nest. So we bring them to the beach and we celebrate the release of the babies crawling into the ocean to start their lives. Our Dallas Zoo Wild Earth Action Team has restored habitat for sea turtles. You don't have to travel to the beach to help. You can pick up litter pollution wherever you are. It's gonna keep it out of our waterways and ultimately out of the ocean.